So if you're using Generate Press and you're trying to achieve a navigation layout where your logo is in the middle and your navigation menu items are split on the left and right, there's no quick, easy drop down selection in the navigation layouts. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to achieve this with some CSS and a couple tweaks. All right, so in my demo site here, I've got navigation set up already. As you can see, logo on the left and menu items on the right. And what I want to do is put my logo right in the middle of the navigation and split it so that about events and meet the team are on the left and then FAQ, blog, contact and social icons remain on the right hand side. What we're going to do is jump into the customizer. And what we need to first verify in your layout and primary navigation settings is that your navigation location is set to either float right or float left. We're going to need one of those options chosen in order for this CSS code to work and split your navigation accordingly. So if we come back in our customizer and go to additional CSS, I'm going to grab the CSS from the generate press documentation. They've got a nice little doc set up for achieving this centered uh, align navigation. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab that. And what we'll do is push this other code down and paste it in at the top. So as you can see, right when I pasted that in, our navigation is now split. Um, and so with this code, it put the logo right in the middle. It put two items on the left and then the remaining ones on the right hand side. Now, what we can do to change this is if you come down to their code, it tells you to change the nth child number to the first item on the right. So because this nth child is set to three, this is telling the code that they want the third item to split to the right and then thereafter. But because of the number of items we have, we actually want the fourth item to be the one on the right. So we're going to change the nth child number in the parentheses to four. And as you can see, we now have three items on the left, three items on the right, plus our navigation, uh, excuse me, social icons. So that's really it. Um, it's pretty simple and easy. You just have to adjust the child number according to the number of items you have in your own menu. Now, if we go ahead and look at this responsibly, uh, so on tablet, this does not work, right? Because uh, our breakpoint for mobile menu is set too small so that on tablet it's still showing the regular navigation setup and we need to change that. So we come back in the customizer and you go to layout, primary navigation. We can then change our mobile menu breakpoint from the default 768 and move it up until we see, I'm going to say at least 800. And there we have it. So now at 800 for tablet, it breaks down to our mobile menu layout. So as we view that menu, uh, it's the mobile menu as it should appear. And in mobile, same thing as well. So really the center navigation only displays on desktop or devices greater than 800 pixels since that's what our new mobile breakpoint is. Go ahead and hit publish to save your work come back to the front end of your website out of the customizer and there you have it. So now we have a centered navigation uh, with items on the left and the right. Um, and my social icons here are actually a hook using generate press elements. Uh, if it's a block element, open this up, they're white so you can't see it. Uh, with buttons and using the hook for menu bar items. Now, I really only recommend this type of center align navigation if you have six or less menu items as we have here. When you begin to add more on the left and right, it just doesn't become the greatest user experience to be able to navigate and find what you need as easy. So really just by utilizing that CSS code from Generate Press documentation, you're able to tweak that number to make sure your menu items are symmetrical uh, on either side of your logo. Uh, and set up a center line navigation that's pretty easy. Just make sure you check out your responsive uh, viewpoints to make sure that it looks good and you don't need to adjust your breakpoint accordingly.